What we are trying to do, and I think uh, we're off to a good start, is trying to raise understanding, awareness, and motivation to deal with child poverty, family poverty. There's many life circumstances that um, can happen to people, uh, whether, it, whether it be an illness, an accident, being laid off, um, a death of a parent or a spouse, um, separation or divorce that can lead people into poverty or deeper into poverty and um, through no fault of their own. Uh, I applaud what Campaign 2000 and uh, uh, the Social Planning Council of Winnipeg have done in terms of coming out with this report. Uh, what's in the report is appalling. We should have child poverty in Manitoba at 20%. 54,000 children. So over the last 21 years since we've been um, involved in Campaign 2000, which started in 1989, uh, we really are at the same place that we started. Um, we're around the same 20%. Um, and uh, other provinces that have poverty reduction strategies are making uh, greater headway than we are in Manitoba. I don't think, ladies and gentlemen, it is enough to appeal to caring hearts and to the compassion of people. I think we also have to appeal to their self-interest. People have to come to realize that poverty is costly. One thing that I find quite disappointing when it comes to actions in Manitoba as far as the role of the government and how we can get all of our society on board to recognize exactly the things that John and Art have said about, you know, poverty costs us all, is the fact that this particular government, a socialist NDP government, will not commit to certain targets and goals. We really want to build the Campaign 2000 coalition uh, to include partners from all sectors and um, um, we, we want to move forward from this report and use it in a campaign that's going to really uh, make a difference not only here but working with partners across the country through Campaign 2000. With everyone making a commitment we can make a difference, we can change. Thank you all for coming, see you again soon.